It's hard to comprehend that a company, a startup company, is just saying, hey, our purpose is to build habitats for humans to live in space. Now, the way Gravitix is tackling this huge undertaking is that they're starting with the pressure vessel. The pressure vessel is the hull of a space station. It's what keeps the air inside while the spacecraft is in orbit. The strongest shapes for pressure vessels have resembled that of a submarine, but space vessels work in the opposite way. The submarine is designed not to collapse, while the spacecraft is designed not to explode. Deep underwater, the immense pressure of the dense water pushes inwards on a submersible, but in space, there's an absence of pressure on the exterior, and the air inside is constantly pushing against the inner walls trying to escape. ISS pressure vessels operate at an interior pressure target of 14.7 PSI. It's also very important that space infrastructure components all match the same internal pressure so they can be compatible with each other. For example, if the SpaceX Dragon's internal pressure didn't match that of the ISS, after docking, the astronauts wouldn't be able to open the hatch. Shape is really important when designing a pressure vessel because you can imagine like a cube or a rectangular prism or something like that trying to hold in pressure and there are these edges that are the weak points. Uniform roundness is the answer and there's a reason why all of the fluid tanks you see look like this. So I'm about to show you what the Starmax pressure test article looks like and bonus points for those of you who have seen this already and noticed that the shape doesn't look like a Starmax. And it's also all wrong when compared to traditional tank shapes or ideal pressure vessel shapes, as I just mentioned. This is because Gravitix is skipping right to the hard part. They're testing the Starmax barrel sections later. I mean, that part is easy. The barrel's curve is so uniform and the pressure will push against the walls of the inside of the cylinder very evenly. It's when you get to the dome shapes that you run into complications, complications that affect the manufacturing process, the design, the structural analysis. Gravitix is very confident that their heavy-duty metal hull will hold pressure even with the weakness that is inherent within this pressure test article shape. With the two domes connected together, they've also installed valves and hatches to perform the pressure test, and this test is going to involve filling the pressure vessel with air until the gauge reads 14.7 psi, that's pounds per square inch, and this represents the interior of the pressure test article being pressurized to the extent that it would be in space, and it's also the pressure environment that humans are already naturally accustomed to. So let's go and test this thing and see if Gravitix is starting off on the right track in their quest to provide humanity with the biggest, best space station modules, orbital habitats, and more with Starmax. Now the pressure test article was actually brought outside. Safety is an important factor and this whole thing could explode as I'm sure you've seen with other aerospace tests. So the team built this blast shield out of shipping containers. I actually helped by setting up some microphones to listen for leak checks remotely at a safe distance. And on March 15th, 2023, the pressure test began by pumping air into the test article through this valve here. Throughout the day, pressure was stepped up and then held in increments, first 6 PSI, 12 PSI, and then 14.7. When the test reached 14.7 PSI, there was a lot of celebration but Gravitix, of course, wanted to proof test the hardware even further. I'll put a link in the description to the official test report that lays out the significance of each increment. Pressure was brought all the way up to 26.6 PSI, and that pressure level was held for a little over 10 minutes. No leaks were detected, and the test was a complete success. The material, hull thickness, and manufacturing process passed with flying colors. So what a wonderful win uh, for Gravitix. Successful pressure test on the eight meter domes. The domes are the hardest uh, parts to make. They're the hardest parts to, to make strong and to keep pressure through the, the different shapes of the seams and you know all these compound curves that you're seeing. It's just so exciting, you know, not just for Gravitix, this test and, and this, you know, pressure test article and this beginnings of a prototype of a vehicle, but also for the whole world, you know, like humans are gonna live in space stations in vehicles that look like this. All right, I have to give a huge shout out to everybody working on this project, everybody at Gravitix. I mean, it's just, they're fantastic people and they're building state-of-the-art space stations right before our eyes. So thank you so much, Gravitix, and thank you so much for watching. I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. It's great to be back. Open your mind. Whoa, don't go yet. First of all, I gotta correct myself when I said this is what space stations are gonna look like. They'll be polished, they'll be beautiful, 
this is what a hull prototype looks like, clearly. So I got a little too excited there, but you know, within good reason, Gravitix is just killing it. And I also wanted to show you this really awesome footage from 2005. It's basically a similar uh, uh, pressure vessel type of deal, and the top just pops. Wow. I love this video. I love how it lands in the background. The question I had when I first uh, saw this was, oh, what failed here? What went wrong? What PSI was it at? And you know what? I was completely wrong to even think any of those things because this wasn't a failure. This was a successful test of stage separation shape charges, which is really cool. It's what the Saturn V used when uh, it you know, sent people to the moon when its stages separated. And shape charges basically go uh, you know, around the lining of a seam and uh, separate two pieces of a space vehicle. So really cool stuff. Super awesome that it's basically the same shape as the uh, Gravitix pressure test article. Before you go, I really have to say you should subscribe to the Gravitix YouTube channel. I'll put the card up on the screen at the end of the video. Go to gravitix.com. Shop.gravitix.com is where you can get this space station progression tee. It's one of my favorite pieces they have there. And don't forget to subscribe to the Small Stars channel. We're bringing it back. The channel's back alive. Thank you so much for watching. Open your mind and reach for the stars.